What's up you guys, Shardimus Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends action figure review on the Toys R Us exclusive X-Men's Dark Phoenix and Cyclops 2-Pack. If you're trying to pick these up, you can get them right now at Toys R Us. I just said it's a Toys R Us exclusive, you stupid idiot! I mean, really, the sticker's right over there. But anyway, I've been waiting to get this for a while. I ordered it quite some time ago, so now I'm finally reviewing it. Anyway, on the side, we get a nice image of the Dark Phoenix, and on the very back, you can see both figures. You can see the cover to X-Men number 136. There's a read-up over here. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause it now. And we get that same Dark Phoenix image right there on this side, and then there's not much of anything at the top and nothing at the bottom, so let's get to it and crack these things open. And here are the figures out of of the packaging and I gotta say thanks again to Hasbro for never stopping with the X-Men figures. They've consistently put out X-Men figures throughout the years. Maybe not always in great abundance but they've always been releasing X-Men figures and I love that they've given us this two pack over here. So I first want to get a closer look at the Cyclops figure and then next we'll take a look at Dark Phoenix. So here's looking at our brand new classic Cyclops figure and I guess this isn't the most classic Cyclops outfit that we've seen on Scott Summers. I don't have that TRU first class X-Men set anymore, but yeah, you could clearly see the picture over there. So I think this right here is actually his second outfit, right? I believe so. But anyway, I do like the figure a lot, and I like the head sculpt. It's the same head sculpt that we've seen several times before, uh, but the paint apps are spectacular for the most part. However, on this side of his face, Face. He has a little bit of a, I don't know what the heck that is, man. A little bit of makeup or something right there on the side. Uh, I don't know. Uh, it looks kind of weird, though. On this side, it's not so bad. I don't really see that. But, yeah, on the right side, a little bit of stainage on the figure because it's on that blue part, too. So something happened. But uh, for the most part, the paint apps are pretty solid. You get a little bit of the blue seeping underneath there. That bothers me some. I really like the shading effect. So you get the lighter blue on the top of his head right over there. So that's great. And looking on the back of it, I mean, on the side, it looks a little silly, kind of. But, you know, on the back, eh, it's not too bad. I actually kind of like this, uh, and I think the paint apps, for the most part, are very good. Now, again, we get the Bucky Cap mold. We're used to this, so I'm going to skip the articulation on this guy because I've talked about it many, many times in the past. So if you're not familiar with this mold already, come on, man. Yeah, get with it. Don't be a noob, you know? Come on. Join us. Join us. But anyway, looking at the rest of this, you know, look at that. Like, that's really cool. It looks like we're getting dual tones here. Lighter highlights over the very dark blue. It's a navy blue, right? So, yep, we get those highlights over the blue. We have a loose belt right there. No shading or anything like that on uh, the yellow sections. Again, I wish we had an interchangeable fist hand right here. Of course, we get the Dark Phoenix Pleasure Pose. But I wish we could take this off and replace it with the fist. I was looking around at other figures in my collection, and uh, like the AIM soldiers and the Hydra soldiers, like those have open hands for grabbing weapons, so neither of those have fists. So I don't think we have any yellow fists. If we do, let me know. But, but after I spent some time snooping around the dork room, I really couldn't find anything that had a uh, fist like that that would go with this. You know, there's that two-pack Wolverine, but you'd have to snip off the claws. Anyway, there's looking at the Bucky Cap boots. You know, you get that texturing in there again. We've seen this before. Not too bad, you know, and while they didn't paint the back of the legs, we do get paint on the back, and of course we get that peg hole right there. So that's pretty sweet. I do like it. And I want to compare this head sculpt to the Toy Biz Classic Cyclops head sculpt, which I always liked, minus the pink mouth right there, or pink lipstick anyway, but you know, I always thought this was a cool figure. I do like the paint detailing on this more. You know, this is, it looks like it's done with a brush, so I really like that. This looks like it was sprayed on, but still, this is a step up. So I'm very pleased with the newer version. Plus, this one has much less articulation, no ab crunch at all with this guy. This one has a pretty decent ab crunch, even though this joint over here is, seems like it's getting weirder and weirder, and it doesn't really move back as much as it used to. Okay, so Jean comes with one accessory, and it's this little tiny Phoenix accessory right over here, which I don't really like too much. I mean, it's not bad. I think it's well sculpted. You can even see the eye right over there. 
and maybe the tiny little feet a little bit, kind of, but the flame looks nice. I like the translucent plastic. So all of that's pretty neat, and it has this tail that goes around, and you're supposed to put this around her wrist or something, you know, and she's kind of just has a little Phoenix birdie in her hand, just to demonstrate, I don't know what, but yeah. I may have seen her do this in the comics before, I'm not saying this never ever happened, but uh, this is just not really that cool to me, you know? So, uh, while I don't hate it, uh, I just don't really see myself using this in display, you know? But it doesn't look bad. But anyway, what I really love about this figure are the alternate head sculpts. So we get three head sculpts over here, and I absolutely love this one. I actually love all three of them, but this came out looking very, very nice. I love the lipstick, the eye paint looks really good, the eyebrows look great, uh, the flesh tone is very light. As I darken my settings right here, you can see, see it's still a very light flesh tone. The hair looks fantastic. I actually love how we have the red over the burgundy. That is awesome. So I'm very, very pleased with that. I even mentioned it to the Hasbro guys. It's like, oh, it's almost like you guys are sending us a, a secret message to do a head swap with the previous Green Phoenix figure that came out in the Juggernaut wave, Oop, which had this head sculpt right over here, the Celine Dion head sculpt, which was like, oh man, no, no, thank you. Yeah, I did not like this head sculpt. So go ahead and pop this new one on your Green Phoenix figure, and that is much better. I'm very pleased with that. I like that so much more, man. Now, looking at the second head sculpt, and I really like this a lot. I gotta say, I think Hasbro is really stepping up the hair sculpt. I feel like they've been looking at uh, customizers or something. I don't know, because a lot of the customizers nowadays, um, Especially, I want to give a shout out to Mike De La Paz and Christina Cruz. Those are two sculptors or customizers that I follow on Instagram. And I'll put links in the description below for, you know, why the hell not. But I follow both of them on Instagram and I notice they both have this very cool style going on. And I know they're not the only two out there doing this. Other people are doing it too, but those are the two that I follow. And uh, I feel like this is almost like Hasbro's response to that. Like, hey, we can do the fancy hair sculpts too. We can do that also. We can. We can. So, and I'm happy to see them do it. So that. That is very awesome. I really like that a lot. The paint came out great. The eyes are looking in the direction they should. Very beautiful head sculpt. I love it. That's very awesome. And then for the last head sculpt, we have the fully phoenixed out head sculpt right here. And this one she has, well not whited out eyes, but she has the yellow pupil right there. And the rest of it's all orange. and. Again, we get this beautiful hair sculpt, which is the same exact thing as this hair sculpt right here. But again, they, you know, they, they've given us this translucent plastic towards the bottom, which I love. I think that actually looks really good. I think that's great. This is my favorite one out of the three anyway. I love how that comes out. Very nice, especially, you know, when you really get light on there, it really illuminates very well. So that's cool. A little extra splotchage right over there. But, you know, again, I really like this head sculpt. And I like the rest of the figure, too. We get some very nice shading. So one thing that's just great about this two-pack is that they did give us paint detail throughout on both figures. So I'm very pleased with that. Uh, the gold or the yellow, anyway, on her chest looks very clean. It doesn't look like they skipped out on any coats. You know, nice thick coat over the red plastic. We get some nice shadowing right over there over the red, you know, so a burgundy over red. It looks pretty nice on this side. On this side, it looks like a line just cuts off on the side of the breast, which, you know, it's kind of, I don't know, it could blend together a little nicer, I think, but the abs look really good. We've seen this body mold several times before in the past, and then she has her little sash right here. You could see some wax that I added to this, you know, just so that it would stop moving around, but I'm, I keep moving it around. Uh, and then you can see the tiny little deco of the phoenix symbol right there. Usually it's actually on this piece, but still, looks pretty good, man. I I'm pleased with that. The legs look very nice. Not too bad, except for the bottom part of the legs. There's serious marbling, and I've seen comments where people have gotten very warped legs on theirs. Mine's not too bad, but yeah, the marbling right here, I'm not very pleased with that. This is just bad marbling in the figure, so yeah, a little unfortunate right there. Uh, she does have pickles at the bottom of her feet still. And then here's looking at the back of the figure, nice looking Jean Grey Nalgas, I like that. And then she doesn't have a whole peg or anything back here, but yeah, good looking piece. I'm going to skip the articulation on this one as well, because I've done many reviews with this body mold. And let me know how you guys feel about that, me skipping the articulation, because there's another two-pack figure review coming up on this channel, and that has reused body molds as well. So I want you guys to let me know what you think about me skipping, you know, 
articulation segments on figures I've reviewed many times. Oh, and I forgot I wanted to do a comparison with the Toy Biz Dark Phoenix figure. Thank you, Rodine. This is one of my most prized possessions, but wow, yeah. Uh, they both look really good. I like both of these figures, but I think the Hasbro one might be winning it. I don't know. Uh, I'll try to do a poll. So yeah, let's see. If I remember to do a poll, vote for which one you like more, the Hasbro version or the Toy Biz version. Both are very good, though. Okay, I lied. I want to show off the head articulation because we have these two new head sculpts over here. So this this neck joint was very stiff for me. It took a minute for me to get that, you know, loose enough to really move around. But you can get this straight haired uh, Jean Grey head sculpt looking up a decent amount. It looks a little strange. The neck looks a little long, but, you know, without having it tilted like that, you know, you can get her looking upward. Uh, she will move down quite a bit, and you do get side to side motion over here and you do get some head tilting, so that's pretty cool. And then showing off the other head sculpt, because remember the other two are exactly the same. Um, you don't, you, I mean, you get a lot of head tilting right over here, which is cool. Uh, you can rotate side to side a little bit, not so much going in this direction, because the hair gets in the way. I guess you have to flip this over, but still, uh, I'm only able to move it that much to the side, and a little bit more so to her left. And then as far as looking upward goes, uh, she barely looks up at all, but she can move her head down just a little bit. Now to measure out these two figures, uh, you can see Cyclops is standing taller than Jean Grey, so he looks like he's at about the seven inch mark, and then Phoenix is just a little under underneath the seven inch mark. And then here's comparing the Hasbro Classic Cyclops and Phoenix next to their Toy Biz counterparts. And you can see that the height on these figures are actually fairly similar. I guess this one's just a little bit shorter than that one right there. These two are more or less the same height. So anyway, I wanted to show off how this figure would look on the Dark Phoenix base that came with the Toy Biz version. And this is actually pretty cool. I mean, I actually think this is way cooler than having that little uh, Phoenix birdie thingy, you know what I mean? So yeah, seeing that right there. I don't know, just to give you an idea how that would look. I'll take pictures of this. You'll see better images of this at the end. And then Marvel Select gave us a Dark Phoenix effect that's really cool, so I'm going to try to get this one set up on here, and I think that looks even more awesome. Yeah, that's really cool. So, I don't know, maybe get a twisty tie and wrap it around the neck of the Phoenix and wrap it around the neck of the effects right there. That should look pretty cool, so I actually like this one most. And then here's our Dark Phoenix and Cyclops figures compared to some older Jean Grey figures. We have the Phoenix that I showed earlier, but that's the head sculpt that she came with. And we also have the Jim Lee Jean Grey right over there as well. I do like swapping the heads, so let's see how it looks with all three new heads in one image. And I think that looks pretty cool. I like that. It looks a little strange on the Jim Lee Cyclops head, like her neck is a little too short, but it's mostly because she has the shoulder pads right over there. And I do like how this head sculpt looks on the regular Phoenix, but this head sculpt over here would look better. Yeah, I I'm probably going to have this figure displayed with this head sculpt right there. That, that looks best to me. And when I was at San Diego Comic Con this year, I was talking to the Hasbro guys about this, you know, how if they would intentionally done this and they're like yep yeah you basically got it you know we just wanted to give you another head sculpt you know so yeah they're keeping track they know what's up and then here's the new two-pack set compared to some older Scott Summers figures we have the Jim Lee Cyclops and then we have the Astonishing Cyclops and I really like all three of these I have to say though I'm probably gonna keep the Jim Lee Cyclops in my main X-Men display I also want to say that it's very satisfying to see a Cyclops figure with this body mold with the nice shading right over there that makes me very happy neither that these two have the shading, so yeah, thank you Hasbro for finally adding that in there. And then here's both figures next to the Marvel Legends Big Time No Let Down Spider Man. And there's Phoenix on the Toy Biz Phoenix base, looking very cool, so I like that a lot. I'm surprised it's still tricky getting this Cyclops figure to touch his visor. I don't know why that's always just a little bit of a nagging issue, but you know, it, you can still make it work. It's still doable. It's not like he can't do it. It's just tricky still. But yeah, I really like how the figure looks on that Toy Biz base. I really like it a lot. Now, getting this set, is this was not a must-get set for me. I really was looking forward to the Cyclops figure, but I already had versions of each of them in my collection already. But the fact that Hasbro did such a good job on both of these figures, it just made me really want them. So these are not figures that I needed in my collection, but the fact that they both look so good, I just had to get them. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment down below, let me know what you think of the review, let me know what you think of of the figures. If you have not hit the subscribe button, please go ahead and hit that button for more Shardimus Prime videos coming your way. And if you're already subscribed, don't forget
forget to hit the notification bell to ensure that my videos are popping up in your feed and so you know when the latest Shardimus Prime video is posted. Gotta give a big thanks to all these people over here for supporting this YouTube channel. Your guys' help is very much appreciated. I will have an update on the big time letdown Spider-Man posters coming to you very soon, so stay tuned. If you want to see a photo gallery of images, it'll be at MarvelousNews.com and you can follow me on the Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Links in the description below. I'll catch you guys later. Peace! I'm gonna play with the toys today. 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 Well, I don't care what the strangers say. I'm gonna play with the toys today. That's crispy. We're shot, we're shot, we're shot in your face. I said we're shot, we're shot, we're shot in your face. I said we're shot, we're shot, we're shot in your face. I said we're shot, we're shot, we're shot in your face.